isn't looking for a workout with major impact that takes as little time as possible. Who knows? What we're about to show you could be the answer to keeping that New Year's resolution you made to work out more. We're being joined by fitness and baseball coach and the owner of Coast to Coast Athletic Club, Corey Vasquez. And he's here to demonstrate how we can get in a quick, high-intensity interval training, known as HIT, workout to get the most out of our at-home workouts or when we head to the gym. And if you don't have weights, no problem because we have a solution for you. Yeah, milk yeah. jugs. Yeah, we got milk jugs, water jugs. We got all sizes, small, large, medium. Yeah, I brought this one just in case just I needed case. a lighter That's weight. That's the extra weighted right? one, right? So we're doing an E5 Mom HIT workout. Explain huh? what this means. Yeah, so uh, we, we do a lot of these in our, in our facilities. Uh, it's uh, every five minutes on the fifth minute. So every five minutes, we'll start a brand new round. Uh, in that round, there's gonna, we're going to go through a series of exercises with a series of repetitions. Uh, in this particular case, we have six exercises, uh, and, and you can complete it as, uh, as short as, or as least amount of rounds, and then as many amount, uh, amount of rounds as, as your time allows or as, the, as your, your body allows you to get into it. You know, the more rounds, the, the more difficult. And it's full body. We're kind of doing yep, everything. Yep. Today, we designed something that's going to be from head to toe. Uh, we'll get a little bit of activation in, in every part of the body. All right, well, let's get started. Let's do it. All right, so uh, first exercise we have, we're going to go with, go ahead and grab some, some uh, water. Yeah, they're actually really heavy, so no, I'm just kidding. So fully extended arm, we're going to go up to a good squeeze, get a good squeeze at the top, and Hold then it. slowly work our way down. And you're going to, I think we, in this exercise particularly, we have 15 repetitions, so if you want to give me like five. Just to demonstrate. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. And yeah. for this too, when you think of hit, you think of going, you know, as fast as I can. Yeah, no. But do you want to take your time and really hold the movement? I think it kind of depends on the workout that's written. In, in, in this particular workout, we want to go really slow. We want to, we want to really work on tension, uh, getting those muscles to be in as much tension as possible so we can get some, uh, some serious muscle growth over time. All right, what's next? So next one, we have front rack squats. So we can do this in a couple different manners. We can go front rack position like so. Okay. Okay. Uh, knees are going to stay outside of the hips slightly. Toes are going to be slightly pointed out and pronated, whatever works natural for our hips. And then we're going to push our hips back and then drop all the way into a nice deep squat, slight pause, same thing, a lot of tension. Could you do like one of those double bounces? Yeah, you can do some pulses. Yeah, man, any variations. That's totally good. And then uh, another modifi uh, modification that we can make is if you set your weights down, maybe that's a little too much for you. Maybe you were just getting started, maybe mm -hmm. we're fresh. We can go with a, a front-loaded weight here, or even lose the weights completely and just go into a, a full-body, you know, uh, air squat. Right. So you can pull. definitely feel it more when you go slower and yeah. hold it than yeah. if you just did it. Oftentimes really we get going so fast, and you and you're really. I mean, it's great cardio, so uh, there's nothing wrong with great cardio. Right. But when we're really, really, really working on muscle growth and uh, expansion of the muscle groups, uh, it's important we go nice and slow. All right, what's the next move? Next, uh, next exercise we have, I believe, is a standing overhead extension. So we can do this. I'll do one way. You can do one way. Okay. Um, so you're going to go grabbing your weights on the outside. Elbows are up overhead. Elbows in. Weight comes back behind the head. And then we will extend and reach and squeeze that tricep at the top. So that's one variation of the tricep overhead extension. Okay, another, one, another way we could do it is we can go single arm, a little bit more difficult. We go elbow high, uh, water jug over the back side, and then up to full extension, you have a single arm, a little bit more isolated one side versus the other. But and how both, important is it to keep your elbows straight? So, uh, well, be natural with your body. You know, mm -hmm. all of our bodies are a little bit different, so, so work with your body, but isolation and control and uh, some straight posture is really good. I think I need the little milk jug if I'm going to do one, one arm. One arms, yeah, that's okay. That's why we brought it. <laughs> <laughs> right? Modifications. All right, what's next? Uh, next, we have some, a little bit of cardio, a little bit of legs. Okay. Okay, so we're going to take our weights if you want to grab your weights. Okay, we're gonna, the squat mechanics we did earlier, same thing, but we're going to add a little bit of intensity to it. Okay. So it'll be a squat and a jump. I want you coming up off the ground two to four inches. And what's the best way to hold these? Uh, just down at the side, probably. Outside, okay. Yeah. So squat, jump, nice, soft, controlled landing, and then you're going to give consistent, smooth reps, really working on tightening and bracing your core as you land. Do we do anything at the top? Like, am I supposed to squeeze? Maybe your butt. Maybe squeeze your cheeks. Butt. Okay. Yeah. Like okay. your butt's hungry. Could you switch it up and do where you do like the wide sumo squat? Absolutely. What does that target so more? Sumo is going to be a little bit more glute based. So butt. Butt. Build and the butt muscles. as we narrow, we go a little bit more quad dominant. Okay. Okay. We might stick to the sumo then. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and if the jumping is a little too high impact, maybe you got some bad knees, hips, ankles. Uh, maybe we're a little older and, and high intensity is hard right. for us. Uh, you can always go into variations of just static slow controlled squats. All right, now we have the floor chest press. Yeah, so if you want to lay it down, 
So uh, getting the upper body and the arms a little bit. Okay, we're gonna go uh, chest position, so arms fully extended. Okay. Uh, it might be easier if you put your uh, the weight on the opposite side of your wrist. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. There you go. Perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna go elbows to the ground, slow and controlled, and then press up to full extension, squeeze at the top. I think reps here are 15 to 20 reps. Uh, and again, you can make adjustments wherever you need to with resistance, with assistance, but that's wonderful. You see, you see that stability right there? Yeah, yeah, you have to really squeeze everything yeah, to keep it. Yeah, you have to focus. And I mean, I mean, I don't, I don't exactly know what a gallon is. It's a couple, you know, five, 10, 15, five, 10 pounds. Yeah, um, I would say But it's perfect. Gallon. It's perfect. Yeah, it really is perfect. And you could take some water out if it's a little too heavy. So yeah, you get a little hydration, you drink it while you go. All right, then we have lying leg raises. Lying leg raises. So again, we're going to take this weight. Oh, we have weight for it? Yeah, you can. Again, you don't have to. But we're going to go leg straight out just to make it a little bit more difficult. Okay. Okay, and then you're going to bring your arms fully extended. You're going to bring your feet to your leg or to the to the milk jug and then slowly control. Try not to touch the ground. And again, we'll do 15 to 20 reps. Sometimes I see people like lift at the top. Yep. Is that good or is yeah. that bad form? Okay. No, yeah, that's uh, I mean, fitness is all about hitting different angles. So all that is is just hitting a different angle in, in the low ab. Um, contracting a little bit in the upper ab on, the, on that crunch mechanic. So you know, I think that's totally fine. So when it comes to these, what are some things we should keep in mind? Like, should I switch up my moves every so often? You know, change my routine, like if I was lifting weights? Yeah, so three to four days, three to four days a week. Um, you know, try to go into increments of four to six weeks. You go through phases where you're going through, uh, you know, higher intensity or more weight resistance. Yeah. Uh, there's, a, there's a handful of different phases. Uh, and, if, and if you don't know anything about what you're doing and you need some help, come see us. You know, we'd love to help you out, even if it's, even if it's at home. You know, if you're unable to make it to the gym, you know, come. Uh, we'll teach you. We'll, we'll kind of go through that and we can help you work on programming. So. Well, great. Thank you so much for coming in and demonstrating an E5 Mom Hit Workout with us. Absolutely. Thanks for having me.